welcome to today's video uh, in this video we'll see how to even test uh, promise.all so promise.all uses like uh, a multiple uh, it uses an array of uh, promises so when that's pro when all those promises gets resolved we get a call to this uh, then callback function if anything uh, if any of these uh, promises throws an error then we go to the catch function so here i already have a piece of code that is written so as you can see inside the ng on in it i have a make API call method call so inside here uh, I have a promise dot all which is making a call to like three API API calls or like three promise calls and when all these three promises are resolved uh, the response is passed using the pass response method inside the method you can see we are passing uh, the output and uh, setting up uh, each uh, output to a different variable so in this video we'll see how to unit test case uh, this particular method the make api call method so we'll start by writing our unit test cases in the spec file so i'll go to the spec file inside the spec file i don't have any test cases written as of now so i'll start by writing one uh, like it should call make api call so make api call method now the, this make api call method it has like it takes uh three promise calls if i go if i go to this uh, first api call and all you can see that each of the api calls it returns uh it returns a promise it's not an observable it's a promise so let's go to this file here all right okay so now inside this Let's start by creating a fixture. This bit dot create component. A component that creates a fixture. Now uh, you can create a component instance using the fixture. Not component instance. Now once we have the component instance, uh, you can call the method like make API call. Once you have made the API call, you can exp you can check the response. So we can expect uh, component dot first response dot to equal something. So what I'll do is uh, so yeah. So uh, this make API call it has like three API calls going in, like first API call, second API call, and third API call. So we need to we need to mock these uh, these three things. Uh, so, so first, we need to create a reference to the service here. Uh, fixture dot debug element dot injector dot get <coughs> the service is common service. Okay. Now, once you have a reference to this thing, you can create a mock for the service. So, I'll copy this method here go here let this api call be let's spy on this thing and spy on the comp on the service first api call and resolve resolve to an object here. Similarly, I think we have two more API calls to go. This is the second API call. I think the second that is also marked. Now comes the third API call. Okay, so each of these promises are like this API calls it resolves to return an empty array. So finally, we get an array of like three empty arrays. Now, when you make a call to this thing, so ideally you will expect like the API response should be empty. But what really happens is, uh, let's see what really happens actually. We'll just try running this thing. And G test minus minus code coverage. 
this thing it runs in test cases and this thing it uh, creates a code coverage report and you can see that it's failing now it's like undefined it's equal to empty now why is this happening we'll do one thing we'll go to this thing and see why this thing is undefined so if i check here i'll just do a console log here console.log first response first API response i'll save it here okay similarly i'll go to the spec file here also I'll log this thing. From spec component dot first API response. Now I'll just try logging this info and try running the unit test cases. Okay. You see here still fail, but we can see the log here. So as you can see, um, the log and the unit test case gets printed first and then the log and the code gets executed so what's happening is like the promise is happening asynchronously so first uh, when this method is called it waits for the api call to complete and before the api call gets completed the call goes here so this segment gets executed first and then the call goes inside this here so in order to like execute make this make that execution proper what we we'll do is we we'll make use of uh, something called a fake async for that you just need to add fake async here and close in bracket go down close on bracket bracket here so what that happens is like it once say api calls happens here you need to add a method called tick Now this tick method it simulates a asynchronous passage of execution. Now if I save this thing and run it again, you, can, you should be able to see that it runs successfully. So what's really happening here is like uh, first when this call this thing gets executed, the call goes here inside the make API call method. Now since it's running inside a fake async environment, what happens is this uh, synchronous call it's being kept in like a let's say a queue or something and then uh, it doesn't get executed until and unless we call a tick method here so uh, when we call a tick method here uh, any api call or like any asynchronous call that's in queue it gets executed now when this thing gets completely executed uh, the call goes here uh, once the asynchronous code has been executed the call goes here when the call goes here we get like uh, this uh, this condition gets satisfied so similar to this thing we can add a couple of more things here now uh, let's see one more let's try one more unit test case for testing um, for testing the catch portion of this thing a uh, catch portion uh, this catch block uh, so i'll write one more unit test case i'll just copy this thing and paste it here now Instead of resolving this thing, what I'll do is that there's an option called reject. We reject with. You can add a message like error in API. And uh, inside this, we can check the error message. Error message to equal error in API. Now, if I run the unit test cases again, you can see that both the unit test cases get executed successfully. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.